read something intriguing you in, can the, read? in the Times of India this morning. I can. Okay. Um, you may have heard about this, that uh, Shah Rukh Khan... I've never heard of him before. ...has said that he is... Uh, they are not doing Jawan 2. Okay. I have a feeling he got the action film stuff out of his system for a while, if not forever, because he said that Donkey is going to be the kind of films he wants to do. He wants to do new characters and new stories. And that Donkey of the three films will be the one that he th he thinks is uh, the most entertaining. These are Shah Rukh Khan's words. Well, I definitely don't think he's done with sh action. <laughs> Because he has Tiger versus Patan coming out. He does. <laughs> but as he he also could just be throwing curveballs. Congratulations to the Texas Rangers, speaking of curveballs. I have I have no doubt that in terms of like substance, this is obviously probably gonna be the best. Let's see. Operation Kuti Abu SRK film. Abhishek Bakshan, Sujoy Josh film. Operation Kurti, I don't know what that is. Red Chilies, though. Tiger vs. Patan, which is obviously going to be a... Yeah, the only one in there that looks like it's for sure a potential, you know, it's an action, is going to be Tiger vs. Patan. Oh, it's definitely going to be action. Oh, sure. yeah. <laughs> but all those other ones could very well be whatever he's referring to. Well, I hope you make Rick watch five Patans. I mean, Juwan's. That's yeah, what he did. I like, like the Patan most. more. <laughs> Josh! Hey, welcome back to our stupid reactions. I'm Corbin. <laughs> I'm Rick. You can follow us on Instagram, Twitter for more juicy content. Everybody who supports on Patreon, follow Twitter account, subscribe, like button. That was a great comment a stupid baby had when I posted my Halloween picture of me as Beetlejuice because you know gray and I mean white and green all over me and somebody said this is Rick after he had to watch <laughs> Jawan <laughs> yeah. today we got a uh, another best ever street food uh, India best ever food ever food India thing you just hit my mic now we're good okay good it's just your touch. It doesn't like, but it's called India's Chinese street food, God level spice in Kolkata. Oh, interesting. Uh, somebody did like, apparently this is like a new channel. So like he can put out more content. It's his voice, but I don't know that he's actually in it. Okay. Uh, so I'm guessing he had like to get more content out. He's had like go and filming stuff so he can do that. But then he just puts his voice over it, I guess. And narrates I, it. I guess. Okay. I don't know. Uh, we'll see. I've not seen anything like that from Chinese him. street food in Kolkata. I know they, it's Chinese pretty big. Uh, Chinese Indian is pretty big. In, mm -hmm. Especially Kolkata, right? I don't Well, Didn't actually, we yeah, we had, had some. some. We actually went. Yes, we had some. It's right there on the border. So. Yeah. Um, let's just get into this. In this episode, we'll showcase the enticing blend of Indian and Chinese flavors as we explore Hungry the already. watering Indo Chinese street food all for under $2. But first, let's back up. Steeped in history, the migration of Chinese communities laid the foundation for Kolkata's unique gastronomic landscape. Their culinary legacy led to the creation of iconic dishes, showcasing a harmonious blend of flavors from both cultures. Beautiful. From Shingara Chow, a legacy dish of Chinese migrants that allowed them to survive and thrive for generations. My husband <laughs> To the evolution of chicken lollipops, a dish that became a citywide phenomenon by combining both Indian and Chinese spices. <laughs> Wow. To savor the captivating blend of Indian and Chinese culinary traditions with some of Kolkata's most affordable street eats. In the intoxicating realm of Indo-Chinese cuisine, our initiation takes the form of chili chicken, a fusion dish seductively embraced by a rich, fiery oh my sauce stars, that looks good. senses. Start with a dollop of oil on a flaming hot wok. Add 
minced ginger and garlic. Then the veggies, onion, carrots, capsicum, and green chilies. Next, Szechuan sauce, soy sauce, and tomato sauce come together to create a flavor base. Uh. Followed by salt, pepper, and good old MSG. Let everything combine before adding spring onions. Now, fill the wok with water. Thicken it up with the cornstarch to create a rich, sticky sauce. Finally, add the fried chicken and let it absorb all those flavors. Wow, that's incredible. The chili chicken is sure to satisfy even the pig. Do you think it's as good as the, the orange chicken, chicken at Panda Express? I was just, just going to say that. I was just going to say that. Probably a little better. Probably a little better than Panda. And definitely less expensive. You've been there. A hidden gem My baby city. Of this migrant family. Here you can savor the authentic Chinese specialty that helped them thrive for generations. This unique breakfast specialty is exclusively found in Kolkata's Chinatown. The name Shingara originates from the Bengali word for samosa, which has a similar shape to the star of this dish. The wontons, when combined with chewy noodles, they create an epic breakfast bowl. Oh. Give me savory breakfast every day of the week. Instant seasoned pork wrapped in wonton wrappers. Blanch them in delicious bone broth, along with homemade hand pulled noodles and mustard greens. I got a hand pulled noodle. After draining and removing them, season with MSG, black pepper, soy sauce, and pork fat oil. Mix everything to combine the seasonings and plate. Finish with boiled pork meat noodles, spring onions, and a bowl of broth on the side. Ah! Oh, no, it's delicious. The end result is a symphony of porky goodness, entwined with chewy noodles and aromatic spices, delivering a deeply satisfying taste adventure. My stars. If you love dumplings, you're about to enter Nirvana. Those are so pretty. Stop, flavor pockets filled with chicken and a blend of Chinese and... Oh, those like you like dumplings? Spices. Oh, yeah. Do you prefer steamed or fried? I like them both. Yeah, me momos too. Momos are dumplings originating from Tibet. They're Those are momos, right? Pole, yeah. Bhutan, India, Man, did I have these delightful bite-sized treats. One of the first places Indrani took me was to get momos. It was meat, off the charts. Steamed or fried, and served with flavorful sauces. Oh, wow! He stuck his hand in that meat. He was elbow deep in meat. I thought it was your mother for a second. He's using. He's got great music in this thing. Boy, he has a lot, a big editing team. Seasoned with red onions, salt, and a secret blend of spices. Top the mixture with fresh coriander, black pepper, MSG, and ginger. Combine everything together, then douse it with hot oil and mix once more. After that, roll out the dough from refined flour and fill it with your yummy mixture. Seal it with a signature move to create this beautiful work of art. Doing it like it's nothing. Everything for the steamer. So pretty. minutes. This music sounds like it's from Joda Akbar. With Szechuan sauce and chicken bone broth. Oh, I bet that's just off the charts delicious. Savor the unique oh. blend of Chinese and Indian spices, combining tender chicken with chewy wrappers, complemented by spicy. Oh. Sauce. Delicious. I can't wait to go back with Indrani. 2024. Rick, is your wife from Kolkata? Yep. Oh, wow. And the aroma of stir fried noodles. These are the signs that a plate of delicious street food is just around the corner. Mm. Get ready for one of the best noodle treats of your life. 
No, the egg. <laughs> Regular customer. Popular Chinese noodle dish, known for its unique stir frying technique, crispy texture, and use of thick, chewy egg noodles. Start by adding oil to a pan. Toss in a vegetable medley of cabbage. Not carrot, just any old pan either. By onions and capsicum. Then introduce the egg noodles into the mix. Season with salt, black pepper, and soy sauce. Set the noodles aside to cook up the eggs. Reintroduce the noodles, more soy sauce, and a handful of spring onions. offers a harmonious fusion of tender egg, savory Sichuan sauce, oh. and chewy noodles, creating a delicious experience. Looks perfect. That chow mein looks great. Right? Looks like perfect chow mein. For our final dish, a simple street food that became a citywide sensation, starting with just one customer 12 years ago. Now, they're serving 2,000 people daily. 2,000 people daily. It's a lot of people. <laughs> Chicken lollipops are a popular Indo-Chinese fried appetizer. Upon first glance, one might easily mistake these delectable treats for chicken drumsticks. But they are, in fact, prepared from chicken wings. Start by removing the wing tips. Then push the remaining meat down to ah, the lollipop shape, ensuring they're easy to handle. I was wondering why they were called Season lollipops. With a mixture of ginger garlic paste, Szechuan sauce, salt, black pepper, cumin powder, red chili powder, lollipop masala, green chili sauce, tomato sauce, corn flour, refined flour, eggs, and a touch of water. India fried. Thoroughly coat each lollipop in this flavorful mixture before submerging them one by one into hot oil for frying. Serve with a side of onion and capsicum salad, tomato ketchup, fresh coriander, and a drizzle of mayo. Oh, mama. That's how I drizzle your mama. Chicken lollipops boast a crispy exterior that gives way they to look incredible. And spicy meat, offering a delightful contrast in each one. Ah! And now, our epic journey through the vibrant world of Kolkata's Indo-Chinese street food finds its conclusion. Of these tantalizing treasures, which culinary gem resonated most with your taste buds? Every what single one. Chili chicken sticky sauce, Shingara Chow's history of migration and survival, chicken momos, unique blend of Chinese and Indian spices, egg chow mein's hypnotizing preparation, or perhaps the relentless spirit of entrepreneurship behind the chicken lollipops. Every one of them. Each dish is a testament to the rich culinary tapestry woven by the history of Chinese migration, reminding us that every bite on Kolkata's sizzling streets is a bite into history. For more indulgent feasts for your senses, be sure to subscribe to Best Ever Food India. Introducing Best Ever Coffee. I've traveled all over the world, and no country has created a better coffee experience. I'm hungry. Stupid babies in Kolkata. Where are these places, especially any of you stupid babies in the southern portion of the city? I would like to know. Is that where your wife is from? Yeah, because when we go in 2024, I would like to try one of these places. I mean, if it's anywhere in Kolkata, we could get to it, but it'd be easier if it's in South Kolkata. It's not a very big city. Not at all. Very tiny. Very, very small. Uh, not, not much bigger than, say, Des Moines. I don't know. Is Des Moines big? I'm kidding. No. <laughs> I've never been. Or, to, or Council Bluffs. I've That's never even been better. To Iowa. 
Council Bluffs, Iowa. You ought to give Iowa a try. You know what show that's from? It's from The Music Man. Oh. It's the very first song. It's, you ought to give Iowa a try. No. I yeah, don't want no. Them. Council Bluffs is there's not much to see there yeah uh have you tried any of these because i would try them all not at these particular places i'm trying to remember because we had momos at this one particular place and then we had another chinese restaurant that was really good but i don't remember what we ordered i just let andrani order for us and it was it was all really really good the momos were what you would expect as far as this these beautiful dumplings yeah i remember the chinese food was a, was what we I refer to lovingly as slightly Indiafied. Yeah, you know, had had more more flavors in it that are definitively Indian than just just straight Chinese food. Yeah, that all, every one of them looked great. Yeah, I did miss uh, his his humor. Yeah, him being there with his humor. Yeah, yeah, because I, I enjoy too. his humor. But, but a great, great video, great for, video, very well put together. Yeah. Um, I'm guessing this, because this is a different channel. This is Best Ever Food India. So this is, I'm guessing, all India, and there's going to be videos like this. I'm guessing that he probably has a team go out to film different videos. So yeah. have while, content coming exactly. out while he's not there. Or, or they'll go, Smart. and he'll be doing the stuff that he's doing, and he has another team of people doing some other stuff where he's not there, and he'll just narrate My it. bet he has Best Ever Food Review korea mm -hmm. china absolutely and so he probably has team he's yeah. big enough now oh yeah yeah and he makes enough money yeah. to where he probably he's has great. teams in every single city and as so, he should he's yeah. great so wh wh whoever uh if any stupid babies wants to be part of our team <laughs> 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 i'll narrate videos all day yeah or if he ever wants us to join him We'd be happy to tag along. Probably not. <laughs> uh, anyways, uh, let us know what other videos we can react to. And if you've ever tried these, down below. Just